If you've ever been to a dermatologist, you've probably been shot by one of these things. You might ask yourself, why? Because it hurts. Well, this stuff is liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen can be used to treat a number of different lesions, such as warts or skin tags. But the most important lesion, um, the most common one that we freeze, is called an actinic keratosis, or an AK for short. AKs are scaly lesions that uh, occur in sun-bearing areas, such as the scalp, ears, face, or arms. Um, AKs are also precancerous lesions, and if left untreated, they have the potential to turn into a skin cancer called squamous cell carcinoma. This is why we freeze them. It's because if uh, they do turn into a skin cancer, we can no longer freeze them away, but instead they have to be uh, treated surgically. So you might ask yourself, how did I get the AK? Why do I keep getting them? You froze me last time, why are you freezing me again? Well, AKs are caused by a lifetime accumulation of sun damage. And so even though liquid nitrogen is a very effective method of treatment, they will continue to grow back. It's kind of like doing your laundry. You know? There's always gonna be dirty socks. If the AKs are diffuse and the chronic sun damage is quite severe, there are some other options we can try. Um, one of those options is a chemotherapy cream. It can be applied for an extended period of time. Um, another option is photodynamic therapy. And there what we do is we'd have a patient come in um, and we'd apply a medication to an affected area such as the scalp, the face, or the arms. Um, then we let the medication sit for about one to two hours. During that time, the medication concentrates into all the precancerous cells. Um, after uh, two hours where the medication had a chance to marinate, we put them under a uh, light and with a specific wavelength. Um, that light actually turns the medication on and then it destroys a good percentage of all the precancerous cells. So there are pros and cons to all these treatments and any of them can be discussed with um, any of our providers. So if you have any questions or concerns, uh, please come see us.